it looks like it's yeah but you can record your own game because it, it, it's just it won't let me record discord yeah that's what i'm saying i can record the own game and this chat actually does it mm. me and jake and then record audio something. and then i just overlay the two yeah could do I need to see where this actually serves it there. Oh, whoops. Or you could even send it to Jake if I end up going away before I can sort it out properly. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm going to put it on Google. Yeah, Adam, I tried to record it right, but um, the way my internet's been, I think that's not a smart idea. I don't even know if commentary is going to be great with you right now with the way your internet's been, to be honest. All right. Alright, calm down. Can you hear me okay? Like, am I going roboty for you? No, you're fine, Adam. <laughs> Joe's a robot. Yeah. I'm a robot? Slightly. How do, Adam, I don't even know how you select just one person. Oh dear. You, know you double click on their window. Where no one's a robot. It's called Skype. Whoa, what's this? Annoyingly, Skype actually seems to work better for me than Discord. Discord just makes my computer go slow, and I have a pretty like strong computer, and I do not understand. Yeah, I have a gaming PC, and my computer still doesn't like Discord. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is like a new laptop with like one of the most recent processes, still doesn't like Discord. <laughs> yeah, but, but I can't give in and use... Skype. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the number of times I actually, like, say on my phone, have to disconnect and connect with um, uh, 4G is is a lot. Yeah, that's not nice. Jake, do I put Worlds is only four days away? Need some guidance? Come watch the Team Sneak Attack Top 10. Um, I think that's all right. Let me just an... let me just try and connect my thingy with the cable. I'll be a sec. Adam, you want it as an FLV file? MP4. I have to find a way to make it MP4 now. So I need to. Uh... We have me and Ryan are playing a sneak attack invitational today, guys. So that's why there's just a bit of a pause right now. I'll Hi. play some Buzzwall and then we'll get. Two bad decks out of my system before Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It should be good. And then I'll have no <laughs> choice but to play a good deck. Oh dear. <gasps> Worlds is only four days away. Not sure what to play. Can I watch the Sneak Attack Games World's Top 10? Can I watch the Sneak Attack Games World's Top 10? Because I don't know what to play. <laughs> Oh, you made I'm a top afraid, ten. I'm afraid. Nice. I'm afraid you won't like the first pick, Ryan. What's the first pick? Zoro Control. <laughs> no. Oh, Zoro Control. Great. Right. Oh, the cable reached. So now it's a question of how do I make sure I'm connected with a cable? Oh man. Don't worry, Mark. I only played Devolver oh. against you for a video. The Veltal's pretty good. That oh, was yeah. great. I forgot I was talking to Jake right now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> good deck. It's a, it's a good deck. It, it's okay. It's, deck. It, it's better than a lot of decks, but it's also not very good. Yeah. No, like, people don't know how to play against it. It's the same with that, um, the Shrine God thingy. Yeah. People just bench too much or do this. Yeah. yeah. One Ray guy um, had a full bench of GXs against me. Oh dear. <laughs> and he couldn't, ah. deal, he couldn't deal with Hooper at all. So that right. that's first of all what happened. Second of all, um, I got a couple of Coco spreads and I just made sure he could ever put even put down a Rangaroo by not taking any prizes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, well, basically there was going to be one turn where I'd take four. Oh, I just cut out of Discord. Or did Jake cut out of Discord? Oh. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. We're on suspense now. At least it's not me. Sorry. I'm, uh, it said some update and I accidentally clicked. But, um,
what would be my pick for a day one junior? Probably Buzz Rock or Ray. Everything's uh, more about you again. Option two, Jake, is that we let Joe record his game and then maybe export his video to our YouTube channel and let him his voice entrance our viewers. No. Hey, oh. no, no. I mean, hi, Joe. Mark, you don't, oh, yeah, you no. don't want me to upload that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I wanted to finish. <laughs> oh, man. We were playing clown, though. I wanted to finish my race story. Go on. Yeah, yeah so, we, we had four and that was it. And then it was like, yeah, so mm. there was one turn where basically the, <laughs> there was one Ray game where all I wanted to do was just try and take six prizes in a turn against Ray. And... Mm. I got really upset because I could only take four, but it was coming back into my turn. <laughs> so I then just killed, like, he just... Oh, there was one game, actually, that was the, one of the best games I've ever played, as in for me. Um, I'd taken four prizes, and then in one turn I took eight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, yes. That's ridiculous. Man. It was... I'll be I'll be honest though. Um, it even like the poker dad who I played against, like round two or whatever it was, three I think, started powering up Deancey fairly quickly. Like he he did know he did get the idea, you know, like oh uh, he's going to spread damage. I maybe want to heal that damage. Uh, just, <laughs> still still just to hope the poor guy. He took like five prizes before I did anything, and then I just end him and took like four in one turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh that, man, that deck's so fun. Like that. Ryan, what's your uh, name online? Oh, do I not even have you? It's Pokepower Twenty Two. Are you online at the moment? Yeah. Wow. So, uh, Jake, do you want to good. record our commentary now, or sit back and relax and do it later? I think record now. I've connected with the cable. It hopefully it should work. Oh, it's not Team Mummy Perk. I sent you a request just now. It's... Yeah, yeah, it's come up. There we go. Oh, yeah. We got you. Cool. Are we good to go, guys? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch Ryan's game and commentate over his, uh -huh. and then you can have your your video as your side of the story kind of thing. Yeah, that works perfectly. Yeah, let me just start screen sharing again. I will I think on you guys now. Then. Can you record yeah, and screen share, Ryan? Looks like it. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Good luck, Ryan. See you in a bit. Good luck. All right, it's just you and me now, Twitch chat. I'm going to do the same thing as last time where I'm actually going to full screen so I don't have distractions or help. Uh, so... Bear that in mind. Let's get that there. Alerts will still come up, but that's about it. So if you want to distract me with cheers, I'll take your money. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there we go. So Ryan is playing Zorro Burnett, which I haven't tested against much as Buzzrock. It feels like the Lycanroc is going to be the hard carry here. Um... But who knows? Oh, Bama Gambler. Cheers for the 100 bits, my dude. Um, so we'll see. Oh, apparently internet's dying. Someone's... Okay, so we may just have to wait with this challenge for a little bit. But yeah, I mean... Oh, he's actually taken the challenge. Okay, here we go. And of course, this is against Ryan Morehouse, one of the top UK players. So, I haven't actually looked at his list, although it is public information, because they've already shown games that Ryan's played in. I didn't have the foresight to look at it. I've been on holiday, so... Got other things to care about, and I'm lazy. But hey, we're Buzzwall. How bad can it be, right? We're going first. We have Floatstone Elixir. 
these things look good. He is playing E Hammers. He's playing Rainbow as well. So Rainbow is actually a pretty cool card with the Bennett because it guarantees him a damage counter to throw onto my dudes. Those one damage counters are going to be really annoying so that he can deal with the baby buzzwalls quite easily. So that's something to bear in mind. But oh my god, what a hand. Two free mulligans. Okay. Even though we have these two nice stage twos, I feel like we've got to throw away some other stuff here. I don't really enjoy getting rid of too many supporters against a Zora deck because we're going to be um, going ahead more than likely. Because we have an elixir, I think the Rockruff is the obvious take here. We do have all of our Pokemon in the deck, which is cool. We have three B-String, all of our elixirs as well, so that's nice. Uh, this is all looking pretty good so far. One of our Floatstone, one of our Strong Energies, one of our Regular Energies. Okay, this is all pretty manageable though. We can live with this. So the ideal is that we Elixir this Rockruff. And then we can get a Baby Buzz down after this Cynthia. To retreat into it, because he's a Zora deck, so he's probably playing at least two Blower. So it's always nice to try and play around that if we can. Buzz GX, huh? I guess we actually can threaten this shop it with the beast energy. My goodness, a Buzz GX coming down against the Bennett deck. Vomit face. I definitely want to get an attachment in. It's just whether it's correct to attach just basic energy to the buzzwall. We can go basic energy into beast energy, deal with the shop it, put 30 on something else. Makes him get another thing down. It could be a wasted attachment though. If he's just going to go Bennett. But then his Bennett has to deal with the buzz and can't deal with the Lycanroc unless he has E hammer to go with it. I think we will attach to the buzz. I think it's the most threatening thing. I'm not too scared about him using Shuppet's first attack, whatever it is. Headbutt. I'm not too worried about that. Even though he could well be playing Choice Bands. He's got to have Choice Band and Energy in his opening hand, as well as like having to prioritize Bridget. I don't think I want to play around that. As much as I want to play around Floatstone, because it's a combination of cards, rather than uh, just one card that slows us down a lot more. That said, the choice band energy is going to be rough if he happens to hold all of those in his hand. But we'll see. Having beast energy, Diancy is so good for this opening shop. It so good. And he actually get a, gets a Latias down. Latios, sorry. And uh, he puts a Psychic on that. So I can KO the shop it, which is really nice. Ultra running away our other super rod feels pretty gross. Pretty YOLO. I don't see much else that we can do though. And we gotta go fast. We are Buzzwell, after all. Let's get ourselves Remoraid. It is also gonna be nice to get a baby buzz down to threaten his Latios to respond it. Nothing coming there. We do have another rock rough that I could potentially put down. He actually plays both Zeruas as well because he has rainbow energy. Something to maybe keep in the back of our heads for now. Not much point in benching any of this stuff. It's just bad against the... Uh... I mean, there's actually potential to put down the rock rough here. Uh, but he has to deal with this Latias. There's no two ways about it. Actually, he could E-Hammer deal with Rockruff. So for exactly that situation, we'll put down the other Rockruff. And eventually we'll be allowed to Jet Punch. Um, this Latios, if it gets the KO on Buzzwell, we'll just do a um, thingy anyway. So I think it's going to be on the Zerua. Nice to deal with Shop It straight away, and that's a headache off the board early. Because they can run absolutely riot on our uh, 
on our baby buzzes. So this is nice, even though they can be going for a big Latias KO here. Latios, I always get that wrong. Latias is the Rayquaza card. Latios is the Zoro Garb and apparently Zoro Bennett card. Well, let's see if he can get into Choice Band DCE. Even just E Hammer DC is very good here. Uh, we are actually going to get paralleled, so we will have to sack our rock, our rock rough here. Uh, then he's going to field blower. Lele as well, so potentially going into a sycamore turn. Or even an N if he's worried about our hand size. Yep, just going to be an N. They're also going to float stone the Lele on the bench. And we'll see how Ryan does off of this. They're going to put a shop it down. Gets a rainbow, so he can be going for a breakthrough this turn. Looks like not everything he needed. The buzzword looking very threatening. Cynthia's a pretty nice pickup here. If we can Elixir evolve into Lycanroc, we can bring up the other shopper and do the same thing again. <coughs> Which sounds like pretty good value. So let's use this Max Elixir. Thank you for the bits, Doomsday. Let's definitely get this Rockcroft down. I mean, there's also the potential to just be like Guzma, either of a Zoroark or a Shuppet, try and hit the other Elixir for this, but it's just so risky. I think I'd rather do this. We'll keep our other Elixir around. Try and get a Lycan Rocket, I think is our best move here. There is a Lycan Rocket. Secures our energy attachments on this dude. And it finishes off the uh, shop it really nicely. Because once this goes, we're really just happy with how our board lines up against his, I feel. And I think I want to just do this as well. Okay. This beast energy is putting a lot of work. The Lycan Rock's in play. They're in a situation where they pretty much have to deal with this Buzzwell still. Uh, we have Guzma GX attack available. We're still threatening the Sledgehammer turn. We don't actually have energy in hand currently, but we have Ultra Ball for Octillery now for prizes. So this is going pretty good. They're doing some trades. To shop it in the bin straight away. Really nice for us. Enhanced Hammer finally coming down. That's a bit of a pain. It means he could potentially attack. Uh, his Latias could attack into something else this turn. Latios. My goodness, I keep doing it. He's actually going to go for Delinquent. And... I don't really want to get rid of our second Buzz GX because we've lost... Uh, lost both Super Rods. So I think it's going to be the end that goes here. We may end up having to dump this buzz anyway, depending on what we ultra, uh, we draw into for this Ultra Ball. It's actually going to DC the Lele. 
and continue to go for breakthrough. Uh, Brooklyn Hill is discardable, but the Guzman's just so strong here. So we're going to pull out a baby buzz for the swing around turn. You know what? Oh man, okay. Right, this is still fine. Now the question is, do we want to <coughs> GX a Zoroark or do we want to GX a Lele? We're currently sat at 140 hit points, so a Zoroark can finish us off. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh... I think I want to stop him drawing cards. That's usually the right answer. The only thing is, it means that then his Lele is definitely going to come up to respond us. If we do it this way, it means only a Zoroark can respond to Lycanroc. So we'll do it this way around. Get full value from the GX attack. I'm still not going to put down the Buzz GX because uh, we want to still play around Delinquent. Uh, with our two prize cards. <coughs> Not picking up a supporter isn't great, so we don't play around delinquent perfectly, but it's still reasonable right now. Let's see how he can deal with this Lycan Rock. He does play Rainbow, so he could have some random other attackers up his sleeve, but I don't see much threat coming in now. Well, I can rock doing the business. As per usual. Man, I need to cough again. I'm going to have to mute this. Okay, we should be back. I'm hoping we're back. Either I didn't mute it in the first instance and now I have muted it, or it's fine. Oh, fine. We'll have to wait and see. So here come some puzzles. Gonna be some shenans, no doubt. Potentially the delinquent coming in at this point. But we have four cards in hand, so it's a lot less good for him. Maybe an end's actually better for him in this spot. Just N and uh, try and hit with a Lele. They're active. Or try and hit with the Latios as well. Yeah, probably just hit with Latios and N. Oh wow, he's going for Delinquent instead. Okay. It's way worse if we actually had a supporter in our hand, but we don't, so... Ah, uh, the Diancy. Do I want to keep the Diancy over the Buzz? Buzz is a big old threat. But it is heavily damaged at the same time. Okay, let's do this. There's the Shuppet. There's Lele. So they may actually be ending instead of delinquenting. Not sure yet. Yep, they are going to grab N. So they just wanted to have the delinquent available. Actually, I mean, they have the option to do either. Yeah, they're going to actually play the N here. Drawing into supporters is pretty nutty. I'm going to go for the breakthrough. So we get a nice brooklet off the top. It's going to be used for thinning. 
taking the one prize isn't a huge deal, but it's better than any other play that we have. So we'll do that. Looking for the Octillery at this point. Not connecting. We do have an Elixir though, which does connect. We are staring down a Sledgehammer turn. Uh, and we are currently holding on to two Guzmas. Obviously, he can once again end us out of it, and we haven't established Octillery, which is slightly frustrating, but we are still in a fairly commanding position at this at this point. Here comes the first trade. Second trade. Professor Kakui is the supporter that he plays, so no N means we almost definitely win, unless he has red card in his list. Or is able to take, uh, take himself off uh, four prizes somehow. I'm going to do the shady move. A camp FTCG, thanks for the follow, dude. <coughs> but no, he's just uh, just dead here. I'm, <coughs> so is my throat. My God. <clears throat> okay, that's one way to win. <clears throat> God, my throat is absolutely dead. I wonder what's happened, man. Okay, that's 1-0 with Buzz. And, uh, whoops. Let's go on to game two. <clears throat> Gotta remember to... Let him go first. If the coin flip is fortuitous. <laughs> oh boy, Buzz Brickington has arrived on the scene. <clears throat> Ah, oh, Mulligans, please save us. He does play a Cirola. That's good to know. Oh! Saved. Oh, he leads Monkey as well. We can kill that. Broken. So Ryan's going to get rid of uh, Delinquent Acerola to grab himself Lele Bridget. More than likely. As it is a Zoroark deck. It also puts two supporters in his discard pile straight away for Bennett. So that is the caveat of Bennett. There's going to be three in the discard pile already for him. So he only needs one more in there to deal with Buzzwalls. Or he can play Rainbow Energy and throw it onto us and deal with us that way. So we do play double super odd, so it's not as disgusting as it looks to get rid of this hand. Uh, using the beast energy does take the KO. It is weak to enhanced hammer, but I'm expecting this baby buzz to go down anyway because of how the shop it's lined up and the fact that he has three supports in his discard pile straight away. So it's not too big of a deal. We're going to put down these two guys, hold everything else uh, because of potential delinquents that he can do against us and 
I want an Ultra Ball Octillery more than likely. It would be so good to Ultra Ball out a Rockruff here to have a potential to respond on his Bennett. And oh man, it is so tempting because there's already the the delinquent in the discard pile, so it is really tempting to just Ultra Ball out a Rockruff to have potential to deal with him. We would go one, two, three, but then the Ultra Ball would have to get rid of the float zone anyway, so it's still super unlikely that we could burst out a Lycanroc against him, especially with Lycanroc and three energy in the discard pile. I think we just have to play a little bit less risky here, a little bit less dream state, and uh, just accept that we're taking the first prize here, and this Bennett is going to be annoying to deal with. Also, the potential benefit of getting a Rockruff down would just be to gust up a Zerua next turn. But this game, we can go for the Force All Non-GX against him, see how that goes. Choosing to play the end, so that's his fourth supporter. That's enough for Shadow Chant to deal with us. We do pick up Brooklet, Elixir, Energy, some good stuff here. Bennett, of course, does resist us. Elixir with very low odds, with three in the bin, two in hand. We may have to try and YOLO Swaggins it. There is the Shadow Chance for 140. Gwyn Thorpe, thanks for the follow, dude. Let's bring up Baby. Ugh, oh, another energy. Okay, we can't play this elixir. <laughs> we really just can't. Uh, how good is 30 damage? It's just not worth, right? Because he can already throw one straight back to us. Attaching to Rockruff is still super risky. We have to just not attach to the Rockruff here. I don't feel like attaching a basic fighting to the Buzzwall is worth it either. So we'll just play the end to try and improve Elixir odds for trying to burst out damage against him. I mean, he's almost definitely going to Guzma KO the Rockruff. So it's not worth attaching. I guess he still has to Guzma KO the Rockruff. So we will get the token damage in. It's actually not worth because he can just throw the damage straight back to us. We'll just get the attachment in. <laughs> That's crazy. When it's better to not attack. But still right to attach, in my opinion, because he's likely to Guzma anyway. Oh, Table Mom with the host, <clears throat> 89 viewers. Thanks so much, guys. Welcome. I'm currently in the middle of the Sneak Attack Invitational, um, where I'm up against Ryan Morehouse playing Bennett. Zoroark. Uh, we're one game up, but we're looking in pretty poor shape for the second game at the moment. We'll have to pull something out of the bag. This is going to be the Guzma with the, the Lele. Or is he just setting it up to deal with future buzz walls? Either is reasonable. Basically anything that keeps Zoroark out of the line of fire is good for him. <laughs> Lazarua comes down. And yeah, it's just going to be the Shadow Chant in the active. So we do have the chance to GX attack him. If all goes to plan. <laughs> all does need to go to plan here. Oh, that's nice. That's such a big draw. Such a big draw. Get in here, boys. We do have our other super odd, right? Yeah. Get in there, lads. Come on. The comeback is on. Nice, nice. 
Um, we got to think about what's the most valuable kill here. The Bennett is scary, of course, but we're not guaranteed to deal with it. <clears throat> and the Lele is also threatening. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. He does play Kikui. Bennett can never KO the Lycanroc, but the Lele actually can. <clears throat> so I think I'm pulling that boy up. We still need to hit some good stuff here. We need to hit Floatstone, and we need to hit Energy. Oh no. Oh no. Danger. Lots of danger. Lots and lots of danger at this point. And not the good kind. Uh, if you can somehow manage the KO on the Lycanroc, we're in such bad shape because we'll have no beast strings for the whole game. Even the Lycanroc... Lo I can't even speak. Even the Lycanroc getting hit once is a problem. Because we saw how important it was last time. Even the Remoraid getting knocked out is terrible. This is just a really bad spot overall. So the God top deck wasn't enough. Because we needed the follow up of Floatstone and I only played two. So. Ryan's getting up his third Zoroark, so he's going to start having some dominant hand sizes here. He does have Guzma, so he's going to get <clears throat> an amount on the Lycanroc. He's also going to rainbow the Zoroark. He can respond with a Trickster GX even on the Lycanroc if he really wants to. He's able to do a shady move, I guess, onto the Remory. I don't really know where this damage is useful, unless he can get a random KO. He's going to plonk it on the Lycanroc, looks like. This can't kill me, right? <clears throat> it can get 30 away with Choice Band. It d he does play Latios, as we know. Maybe that's where he's looking. There is the Shadow Chant. For 80. B string and elixir are both really important, so I'm actually going to play N here. And N loses its value after this turn. Oh, it's so big to try and hit a basic Pokemon so we can actually get B string activation this turn. This is a huge two draws. Can we get one B-string to proc this game? No! Oh, this is going downhill, boys and girls. Resistance is cancelled out by the Diancy. Potentially the M was greedy, but if we're already removing a B-string and an Elixir from the deck anyway, it's not like our odds are much better by drawing two more cards if one of our live targets is already being removed from the deck, so... I don't feel like it was wrong to play the end, even though we missed after it. But we're in obviously bad shape here. Our beast ring, our beast energy is also gone as well, and that's one of the ways that you can still KO a Zoroark in one hit. So definitely in a bit of bad shape. Ryan's setting up the Mallow. I don't really know what else he needs. We also have to be very aware that uh, we can't really bench Buzzwall GXs because he can actually tricks to them. He could even hug stall Diancy. <laughs> For a turn. Broken. 
Okay, he's gonna stretch it back. Shop it. Seems good. And energy drive. Finishes off our Lycanroc and pretty much our hopes of winning this game. Let's think about what we can do to try and win at this point. I just don't see, I don't see us winning. We know he plays puzzles, so if we try and two-shot this Lele, it's just over. Yeah, I mean, we had a kind of hint of hope if we had hit one B-string on a GX, but at the same time, he already had the rainbow established, so we couldn't do it with a buzz GX anyway. Yeah, it was pretty much just uh, a bad spot. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Right, let's see if we can win the third and final game. Leading Remoraid with a hand that we pretty much have to instantly Cynthia away. Isn't ideal. It's not a baby buzz in the active. Yep, insta throw this away. Oh no. Well, feels good, man. Pretty much giving Ryan the free, the free turn. There goes our advantage of going first. And our next turn looks more likely to be an end than a Sycamore as well, with Super Odd, Elixir, and B String all in hand. He's going to do the Bridget Shenans. And pass it back over to us. Picking up an energy doesn't help anyone. Let's play this then. Ah, oh, it's Buzz GX, huh? Of course it is. We're gonna Ultra Ball. Grab ourselves the Octillery. Hmm, it's so weird to play this down. Uh, even the beast energy is a bad attachment. It's just all bad news. But I want to draw as many cards as possible to try and establish like uh, the rock rough this turn. This turn is still salvageable if we hit rock rough, especially if there's elixirs in there as well. Oh, or just more junk. Hi, Buzzwell. Remember me. Yeah, this has been really gross draws. Really just uh, not cooperating in the right order right now. This old deck of ours. Benefits so far is that there's only one supporter currently in the discard pile. So the, the net isn't primed and ready to bop us. But yeah, so Ryan sees that and goes for the Lele. He's going to evolve into Zoroark. Another Evo Soda. So that's probably Zoro number two, I would imagine. Yep. And trade number one. That's one supporter in the bin. Uh oh. Guru. Another shop it comes down. There's the Bennett. Hmm. 
DCE and a Guzma. So we can cycle this Octillery. Do I want to cycle the Octillery just yet? No, we actually don't want to just yet. We want to hold off. We really, really want to hit Diancy or Ultra Ball or uh, Stadium. Oof. One energy knockout sounds good, especially when our hand is as dead as this. We absolutely need to uh, do this. One, two, three in the bin so far. Three, six. He only has one trade in a four card hand. Attaching to Diancy sounds terrible. Ugh, I mean, we do actually have elixirs, so it's probably better than attaching to Boswell. Okay. <clears throat> this damage has probably just been thrown back in our face anyway. You know that he plays Acerola. Uh, the damage on the Manette doesn't matter. It's always going to be too shot. Damage on the Zoroark doesn't matter too much. We'll just put it on the shop it. It forces him to not heal his Zoroark, I think. Or, obviously, he can just evolve his shop it and then he can do whatever he wants, but... <coughs> Once again, an awkward hand. We don't play Lele in the deck, and we didn't cycle our Octillery to improve our chances of hitting the Diancy, but our hand is once again dead. So if we can figure out a way to get the KO here, well, Mallow's probably going to do it. <laughs> One, two, three, four supporters played. You can throw one more damage counter on there. So three, seven, 140, 150. So energy choice band. What are our best draws? Obviously, any supporter is brilliant. Suprod is also very good. Using it as one trade off with that Mallow. There's the Rainbow. Choice Band, as we mentioned. Shady Move. Where's he going to put it? He's got a genuine decision here. The Bennett will be in the active long enough. Yeah, I actually think the, the Rem Raid's correct. It's also able to get rid of our Stadium, which is actually a big pain here. Whoa! He clicked the wrong attack, right? Yeah, he clicked the wrong attack. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh let's try again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we lose there, right? <laughs> but well uh <laughs> Oh Ryan Oh Ryan <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Keeping me in this tournament, Ryan. You absolute gem of a man. Okay, we'll take it.
Good lord. So we won... It is game three, so I can choose to go first. Oh, Ryan. What are you like? And of course we lead Baby Boswell this time. Still supported us, but it's Baby Boswell. <coughs> he leads Shop It, which is annoying. I think I might be minimalistic here. Actually, I kind of do want to get a rock rough out. Why am I being minimalistic? I'm Buzzwell. Get back to reality, Joe. We have a lichen rock in our hand. It only makes sense, right? We have Guzmus Flow and we have lichen rock, so. Sounds good to me. Our actual best draw is either, well, obviously Octillery or Ultra Ball, but beyond that, even just an energy is insane. If we can get a Guzma whilst attaching to a Rockruff, that would be insane. Ryan's having to do his Bridget stuff, obviously. <clears throat> Field blows away our stadium, and we get to ooh, juicy. So, this is also a very good draw. It means that we don't need to elixir our lichen rock if we just attach to it this turn. So we'll bring up Azurua. Uh, we never need Choice Band. Oh no, we do for Lele's. Okay. Oops. We'll play the Cynthia. And we don't need Diancy, so let's Ultra Ball out a Sushi Master. We have our other Super Rod, so I don't mind playing this to draw more cards too much. Uh, let's think about this. No, let's save. Save it up. Another baby buzz is fine to bench here. And we're gonna be taking the first prize. My cat's starting to attack my drink. You can probably hear that. No, get away from the wires, cat. Get away from the wires. Please don't do this. Here you go. Here you go. It's just here. Where are you going? Oh, she's gone. Okay. Well, good. Right, he's going to stretch it back. There's a row we just slayed. He's going to get another lay lay down. And he's going to play Cynthia. So that's supporter number two in his discard pile. Kufizics, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome. Hey, hey little kitty, look, you want this, right? That's what you want. Play with that, you crazy thing. Okay, so we do have some good stuff going on here. Ooh. So, yeah, of course she does that. Okay. So we have potential to Gust still here. Gust is absolutely our, 
our ideal turn because getting damage on this Lele doesn't do a huge amount for us. So we're going to try and lower this hand size as best we can here. If we do manage to gust, it will be with the other buzzwalls. So we actually want to attach to the active. We'll also attach this to the active. We'll play our super odd for the one buzzwall GX. And we have three draws to high roll Guzma. If we do, it's going to be amazing. Not Guzma, but not N either. And we know he doesn't have Zoroark in his hand, so... Very reasonable. Now we do have Guzma in our hand, so I think we'll just be slamming the Sledgehammer here without using any Ultra Balls. We could have jammed Ultra Ball, tried to get another Rock Rough down, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. I'm really just treating this 60 as not relevant at all in the active. So I didn't feel like searching out Diancy to make it any quote-unquote more relevant, because you can always parallel it away, or use it for Bennett pings, or do all these sorts of things. It does actually have double puzzle in its hand, so you can recover that blower, get rid of both of our tools here. And also picks up that Cynthia to recycle. Looks like he stumbled upon a dead hand of Zoroark. But he does have the Cynthia to pull him out of it. Kratos Kike, cheers so much for the follow, dude. Let's see if that gives him any better luck. Here they come. Some nice silvery Zoroarks. Also, being able to bin another supporter is always nice. That's supporter number three in the discard now. So with the damage on the Lele, he can actually deal with our Buzzwell. There's the parallel, which is fine. And let's see if there's anything else to follow up from this. No, he's going to have to retreat into Lele. Oh, he still has an attack. Okay. Pretty reasonable. So we have Guzma GX, but it's with a basic energy card. And that's really awkward. Oh, sorry, it's not with a basic energy card. So that's really awkward. I feel like I want to thin this hand and try and find a basic energy card because that's way better for us. Or Floatstone. Both of those are very good. So let's thin this hand a little. I think N and Sycamore are our least useful cards here. We want nothing. I think we're always Guzmaring. It's just we don't know if we're always attaching this energy card. So let's draw the two. Hope to hit a basic energy. Brooklet is also fairly nice, I think. No, it's not a big deal. We still play this, but it's not a... I think I still play it. Um, so it's this awkward GX attack where they could still do the enhanced hammer shenanigans. So it's a bit annoying. Playing the Brooklet actually means that we can get delinquented to zero with a counter catcher on artillery. It's a big stretch, but it's possible. But at the same time, our four card hand is still useless against that, so I think we're still doing this. So we're going to pull one of these out. I think I just want another baby buzz. I could also get a backup Remoraid, because I feel like we're going to be going quite far ahead. That I want to uh, get this established. Just in case he's going to try and sweep the game from under the rug. And it is a GX attack on the Zoroark. He only has one Zoro in play, so hopefully we can't get hit with E-Hammer. If he does, it's going to be bad news. Let's see. 
E hammer's the thing we're most scared of here. Hundred percent. Ah, he got us. He got us. Also has an energy for his Lele. And an energy drive comes down. So picking up the beast energy. Oh baby. Now we really want to find Floatstone or Gusting cards, so we're going to get rid of these two. We don't want anything, we want one of our three Guzmas or our one Floatstone, so it's not actually super high odds here. Do I want to attach the energy card first? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. I mean, if we attach to the Lycan Rock, it's just dead anyway, right? So it has to be this. We do hit Float, but no Gusting cards, so we're doing Swing Around, it looks like. Let's throw another Max Elixir at the, at the fire. The baby buzz army coming at him. Now the biggest downside of this is he still has parallel that he can play. And he has two ripe leles ready to ready for binning, basically. But at the same time, one parallel in the bin, two puzzles gone, only one Zoroark currently in play, low hand size. Maybe we get away with it. We'll see. He does have a Cerola, at the very least. Promotes his damage Lele, rebenches, wonder tags. So it looks like he's just going to try and cycle this one Lele this turn. Taking a knockout. Picks himself up an N as well, for good measure. Okay, it's time for Hunt for Guzma round two. Where's that Guzma at? Oh boy. Choice band attach beast energy killer Zoroark is the most insane thing known to man. We do have our other baby buzz in the deck, of course. Um, but it's only if we get Gust. If we don't get Gust, we can go 80, 100, 160 and kill with this anyway. So I think we'll just do the active. Needing one heads. We'll get the other baby buzz down. My cat's still running around in circles. We'll draw three with Abyssal. This Cynthia seems good because we don't have any beast energies in the hand. So we'll do this. My cat's still going crazy. All over the place today. Now we have Beast String Guzma in our hand for next turn. So let's not whiff. Excellent. Excellent news. Going down to one prize with Octillery established. He's got a damaged Lele and a Zoroark in play. We just plucked another Beast Ring out of the prizes. This is looking pretty juicy. How many energy are in our bin? Two, gonna be four, five, six, okay. <clears throat> How many choice bands do we have left? Okay, here comes his Shop It. And here comes the end. Man, my cats are going absolutely mad. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, we pick up Choice Band, which is a nice draw. He gets a Evo Soda to get his Bennett. He's able to field our off Floatstone, which is actually kind of a big deal here. He's going to be able to Shady Move a damage counter somewhere. May as well get the free ping. It's probably going to be here, I would imagine. Yep, 
Yeah. Man, my cats are going at it today. Crazy. So where's this choice band good? We're on the sledgehammer turn, so Guzma Energy is game. Lycanroc's already used its GX attack. So the choice band's probably best on this Diancy. So we won't promote Diancy. That's our usual floatstone provider. Remoraid's the only one with one energy card. Oh, sorry, one energy retreat cost. So if we miss Guzma, we could still go Elixir Attach get a sledgehammer turn so I guess that's what we're doing but we are hunting down this Guzma attach energy straight off the bat is good it means we have five draws to hit one of our three Guzmas so let's plop that down get the attachment on the board draw five cards looking for Guzma we have three in the deck and we pull two of them off the bat and we're able to take down the game. So, 2 1 in this best of three. After getting bailed out, let's be completely honest, <laughs> we drew terribly in the first quote unquote game three. So, that's pretty rigged. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let's put the face cam back and let's get chat back in here as well. There we go. Okay. And uh, let's turn on the Discord. The to be played game, the who will then face the winner of um, Alex Dow and Robert Kimbram. So there's still a lot happening in the bracket and a few more games to go before we reach the Oh finals. yeah, I wonder who's going to win that. Well, keep watching. Um <laughs> Well, thank you for watching, I should say. Um, and I will say thank you to our sponsors, um, Sneak Attack Games and Sammy Sakum. Um, right, and yeah. I'm just ripping it. Oh, they're back. Okay, mate, good game, Joe. Good game, mate. Sorry about that third. Uh... Yeah, don't worry. That was entirely my own fault. The only real like, way to do it was just to restart. Yeah. Guys, it was you absolutely were pretty fine. pretty dead drone anyways. Because uh, Adam's internet went. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> In that game only. <laughs> now it came. Okay. This says it's ripping at Adam if you can hear me. Yeah, Ryan. You could have waited I'm like one more like second really so that when I said thanks time. to our sponsors, there was a small gap where I could have just like edited it like out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, I said so thank you to our sponsors. And as I <laughs> ended my word, well. Ryan started talking for like five minutes. Well, he. How, he how am I going to edit that out? He wouldn't have known. You just don't say that bit, I guess. I just cut it. It's like we don't say bye. We just say, I guess I just say Joe Advance, and I can just stop there. Right, and there's actually um, there's the bit after that Will says anyway. Why do I have to have the worst ones to edit? Everybody else <laughs> just got a game where they can just upload it. I've got to sit here and now and stitch together oh. three different audio tapes. Where is who, uh, who do I face next? Do we know? The winner. Uh, of, I don't know. Sorry, so uh, Scott is facing the winner of. No, I legitimately Rob, don't know. Right, so Scott is facing the winner of Rob and Alex. Someone wants to get The winner back. of that then we faces Ryan. Then whoever wins that game faces you in the finals. Oh, I'm in final. Chill. And you have yeah, you yeah. End, cheeky final. You ended with uh, about two minutes left. Oh, easy. But so easy the, the first ten minutes of the no, I liked game, it, but I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think I want to play it for. Can, I have to can, do more testing. Let's can Ryan something. hear us? Like, I don't know. I think Ryan like can only hear me. <laughs> yeah, I can only hear. I can't hear anyone else. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> talking over Adam. It's so Unless funny. I just have a mute, unmuted you. Ah, uh, yes, you, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> you were just talking over Adam the whole time. <laughs> He just kept going. Adam was like, he seems so... Like, oh, oh, man, I can't. That's good stuff. I hate you. <laughs> oh, that's some good memes. I'm sorry, Adam. Oh, we got a new subscriber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jake, I think, it's, I think it's that woman you don't like. Which one's that? Oh, don't say that. You know. There's no woman I don't like. The one who maybe baited Tubbs yes. No, the one who maybe baited Tubbs yesterday. Hey, aren't we on Joe's stream right now? Yeah. Hi, Joe Stream's friends. I I need to mute for a second. Nope. 
<laughs> well, for Joe's stream, um, we will have the game up. It may have Jake having a robot voice for some parts of it. And it also um, may have issues change. with the frames, but I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, no. we oh, can sorry. rip Joe's video and pretend it's our own, as I'm sure he won't mind. Yeah. So yeah, Adam, Adam, I'm not. I don't think. Um, I, don't, I don't dislike anyone. No, it's I just, fine. I'm just. You can be a bit sceptical when some uh, potentially um, dodgy stuff happens. It was a shady move. She was playing banana. <laughs> Ryan did lots of shady moves that game. Yeah, too many for my liking. One point yeah. we would bring up, Joe. We noticed in that third game you attached the energy to the baby buzzle rather than to the lichen rot. The second energy on the baby buzzle. Well, what I was going to say, Adam, is leave it because he can watch the video and we'll we talk about that for pretty much the rest of the whole game. But I don't know if he'll watch it before he goes to Worlds. I don't want Joe to struggle at Worlds. I do. The struggle makes you a man. Wait, it was to a like. It was to a baby buzz instead of a like and rock, right? Yeah, you attach the second oh, energy. Yeah. Oh wait. There was obviously a reason, um, and I think we discussed it. But like, I think the like and rock was just better. Just and yeah, I mean, probably yeah. was. Because you was I digging with you got punished stuff, a little bit. or was I? <laughs> Um, so you were trying to set up a choice banded KO on the Lele Baby Buzzle. I guess. So I, off I you... really like the turn two Lycan Rock, you know, for the KO yeah. plus the um, energy on that. <laughs> yeah. But I don't yeah. like, because then there was the Octillery, sorry Adam, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'll just finish right. this point quick. The, there was the Octillery the turn after <laughs> where you had to attach the strong. And of course, it got e hammered. Yeah. So you're kind of stuck for a bit, like not stuck for that turn because you had float, but you basically were never able to get into claw slash uh -huh. range, and it meant you didn't use claw slash with its first attack. Yeah. The first time it attacked, anyway. Okay. Mm. But I was, I was really trying to dig for basic energies, but they weren't coming. Yeah, but Ryan, Ryan can't play to save his life, so. Guess, guess yeah, that. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. No, no, no. Well played, guys. Like, it's the only reason I'm commenting on the fact that I, I'm all like asking question on a specific play is because every other play, you know, either made sense to me or was over my head. So <laughs> but, like, I, I don't, no, I don't I, mean. <laughs> I really liked how you set up that first game, Joe. Yeah. I can't remember the first game, but I remember Joe winning. Um, he, was, he, he, he targeted down the shop pits while setting yeah, up the white from his van. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Dude, the um uh, <laughs> the uh, the beast energy like turn one or two, three games in a row. <laughs> except <laughs> except that actual third game that we ended up playing. Yeah, yeah. Just Joe thing. Yeah. Mm. Hey Ryan, do you know it's a great attack? What? Tom. Tomb Hunt. <laughs> I've heard it's fantastic. Like, I mean, really good. I actually really Bowser like it. <laughs> it is really strong. Just <laughs> at specific points. I think it's Ooh, the play in that matchup. I would have KO'd the Latias here, but then two floats are already down. I have a uh, I have me string in hand. If he goes, he loses, right? Hmm. But if you kill Latias, then you stop his energy. Mm. God's sake, Joe, you're going to Worlds. Come on, step it up, boy. He has no energy to discard. <laughs> oh, doesn't he? <laughs> I thought he had, like... I just assumed he had five because it's Rayquaza. <laughs> I mean, he very well could by the end of the turn. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm just passing oh. next turn. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just be like, please, please KO a GX. The one time you want Rayquaza to be playing Pokemon Catcher and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> if I just draw a metal, Adam, this is um, like the most insane hand. Why? Adam, it didn't record very well. It did record. However, it recorded about a solid half an hour of the same thing because it must have just not had the right settings or the bitrate was wrong, so there's just a Burnett staring down a Buzzwall for a solid half an hour. 
It's fine. I will see what the quality was like on mine and Jake's commentary. If it is that dreadful, we only have like five minutes that are salvageable because I disconnected. Jake was a robot voice for a bit. We might just share Joe's video. Yeah. If okay. Joe, you're okay with that. Absolutely fine, mate. Absolutely fine. Obviously, we'll have a direct link to your channel archive and everything else. Never. Yeah, and yeah. and we'll say he's a good boy. And it saves me editing. <laughs> So I can focus oh, on worlds amazing. instead. That's what, that's yeah, what I'm doing right should. now. I'm focusing on worlds. <laughs> oh dear. I, I quite like this deck. But then I get to say that because I play stupid crap like a Veltal spread. Mangola, mm. cheers for the follow, dude. Just letting you guys know that I You're welcome. 14 energy. And, uh, <laughs> they're a bit absent right now. I could actually have improved my. I don't mess. know. But whatever. Yeah, I think it's because I was streaming. I was must have. It must have been streaming at the same time. Plus trying to record, just it did not work. <clears throat> it's okay, Ryan. Is it? That's why it's good that Joe was streaming. He fought ahead. Yeah. He knew our internet was all die and be horrible. And he knew that mine just would not. My I, I could not record. Joe is the real MVP here. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Joe, you built Banter Box for this year's world. Yep. Oh, yes. Please give me Banter Box, and then I'll chuck away whatever deck I've built that I've tested and play Banter Box instead. Oh, to, to be fair, though. Hey, wait. Didn't you do that in, like, 2016? Yes, or was that 2017? It's 2016. <laughs> to be <I'm> fair. <laughs> <laughs> they all laughed at Trev Alakazam, and I went and played Banter Box. I, I mean, like Trevor Alakazam. I think it was better than Trev's arm, so I don't feel too bad. I'm not sure. I, mean, I think Trev's arm had some really sick plays. I mean, all I'll tell um, you is that everyone in the chat has never heard of Trev's arm before. That's all I can tell yeah, you. Well, if, 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 if they watch the Team Cake Invitational, they will see it was a Trev's arm deck. <laughs> True, yeah, actually, Adam played Sorry, it there. Crop Class Invitational, not Team Cake. Yeah, it's, it's Crop Class. Uh, I don't know. This is this is banter box, isn't it? It's got it's a box with metal Pokemon. No, you can play a Veltal. You can still play Baby of Veltal. This world's <laughs> one Baby of Veltal with metal box. Go on, Joe. No, the a Veltal deck that I want to leak up with Adam. God's sake! But does it have Mew in it? I, I you know, I had Mew in it for ages, right? <laughs> <laughs> what am I listening to? <laughs> it destroys Buzzrock. People can't do anything against it. They have no idea what to do. It's great. I mean, hi all of Joe's Joe's viewers. It it doesn't beat Buzzrock. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, see one seen one person seen Trevs and that's enough. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> hey, <laughs> guys, guys, don't tell him that's my like dummy account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make make him feel better. Poor Mike. So what's the play for worlds? Pokemon. Um, Wait, no, no, I thought right, it's Metal Box. These are the decks I'm getting out I of think... my system. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna come to our hotel room and like learn the secret deck for worlds, right? Please. There isn't a secret deck for worlds. Oh, wait, is there? Just, oh, okay. Just secretly <laughs> tell me what secret cards to secretly bring, and I'll secretly bring them in my secret bag. Okay. Six. In your secret bag? Is that going to get free customs? <laughs> yeah, no. He, at customs, they're like, can we see your bag? It's like, nah, sorry, mate, secret deck. <laughs> they'll, they'll see three bombs because they're all Electro GXs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a shame that's I'm crap. Scared. Whoa, dude. Language. Have you seen? Have you seen? Language. <laughs> what? I, I purposefully didn't say a naughty, naughty word. That's a naughty word. PG. What is naughty? No, the one I said. Oh, poop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Similar. yeah, it's a shame Electro GX is rubbish. Well, I don't know, man. You you watch you watch Alison to Malpo. Some still interesting in the, it's there. Still in the tournament, isn't it? 
I yes, bet you uh, Alex will just win the whole thing <laughs> after all this. He he does Alf. beat Rob. <laughs> Poor Rob. Rip Rob. That is Rip Rob. <laughs> well, what are you play? You're playing the winner of Xerneas or Xerneas? Yeah. Me? No, no you. Rob. Rob. I'm playing either Tamel or Alex. Oh, that is so sad. Joe. <laughs> yeah? What do you do if he has Guzma next turn? Do you lose the game? Because uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't beast ring or anything to no. take a KO. No, I can't. It's a bit... Oh, bit of a... Bit of, an bit of a bad in this one. Yeah. <laughs> you could do it, though. You can reattach some energy. Come on, Sol Galio. Just wait for him to say well played. Oh, the irony well played. Just drop it as soon as... As soon as you take the KO, it'll drop. Yeah, as soon as you retreat, he'll say it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait for it. Oh. Oh, it's not happened yet. Uh-oh. Did we win? Oh. <laughs> well, no, you still got two, to, two KOs to take. <laughs> I shouldn't have attached to the stacker. I should just be stacking up a low dish, right? Oh, you've already used your chest attack. Rip stacker. Rip stacker. I shouldn't have attached that. <laughs> nah, you should have gone for a six energy dust main there. It's, if it dies, you lose anyway. Oh, you didn't nope. even say well played. What's that? What's that about? What's that BM? Wow. Come on. Well, yeah. BM. BM better. <laughs> Unreal. You have to BM far. I've given given him angry. Okay, so that, that's a good step on the way to us getting this deck out of our system. Good. I'm not gonna lie, it was sleeved yeah, you, up you... as one of my four decks that are sleeved up. <laughs> I hope one of those decks is a Zorak <laughs> deck. I have no Zorak deck sleeved up. Ooh, ooh. Wow. I just don't think it's. <laughs> oh. uh. Am I against? <laughs> All right, I gotta not. I gotta not look at your. Are you st are you playing the same deck? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> lord. Okay, this will be funny. Oh, oh dear. Oh baby. I I oh, can't my win. God. I I just I literally can't win this matchup at all. I think. Is this the the Stackums no. win? <laughs> no. 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 It plays no spread. Uh, Coco, Coco oh, resists mate. metal. Oh no. Mate, you, you sure you want to give me that ultra space? I can get all my beasts. Ultra beasts. It's a Veltal Breaker and Ultra Beast. Hmm. It Can't should be. It definitely should be. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this could be this could be a close one. I'm just waiting for the free stack attacker. So the Baseball Knight just does zero to everything on your bench. My hand is dead. <laughs> Whoa, don't, don't say that, Jake. Then I'll find out. What's the oh, best? six Cynthia top deck, boys! What's the best post rotation Zorowark deck? Uh, I can't give you an informed decision. I'm still, I'm still clowning around for worlds. What's the best Zoroark deck for Worlds? Don't tell me. Help. Are you kidding me? That doesn't kill it. <laughs> Gigaton Stomp. Nope. Doesn't kill Tapu Coco. Nope. Or Mewtwo. <laughs> oh, 50 oh, damage. Oh. Turn one, boys. You don't know what's, what's something. Okay. My hand's also dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play N. Oh no! Oh damage! Oh oh man! Are you loving that shrine? Stack is gonna lose to a spread deck. No. <laughs> <laughs> not like this. So this is the shuffle draw supporter I'm playing this turn. Hmm, good decision. Instead of a instead of a different one. How do you like that? It's Zoro Zoro. 
someone says in chat. I do like Zoro Weaver after rotation, Zoro especially Zoro. if there's a 60 HP Sneasel. So when that new card comes out, you can still get Sneasel out. There is a 60 oh, HP Sneasel, isn't there? Or is yeah. that only right no, now? That, that's the one that came out in Celestial Storm. <laughs> How does Psychic only do 50 to a three energy attack? <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, you know, you know, stack attack is non GX, it's other attack. Yeah. It basically kills nothing in this deck except a Ranger. Wow. <laughs> Wow, we're about to see differently, aren't we? No. Yikes. Yay! There's your boy. Got him. It now kills Got every him. basic Pokemon in your deck. It kills pretty much everything, because uh, except a Melt or Break. You need to get out your boy Garbodor that you totally play. Yeah. I'm still getting ground out a bit here. There's a lot of damage counters on this board, man. This is scary. Oh. Try that sweet, oh. sweet tapping. Oh, yeah, the Hooper. That Hooper's a card. <laughs> I think I'd play that one. <laughs> Tech Psychic Energy for Anchor Shot. Yeah, you should have played around the Hooper that you knew was in my deck. I actually did know it was in your deck. I've seen oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've posted that already. You forgot that. <laughs> oh, there's the Spirit Team. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> damage. I love doing zero damage with an attack, but still doing damage. Actually, no, wait, I did some spread, didn't I? Yes, you did. Spread and dead. Look at, look at this, boys. Oh. Your hand's not dead anymore, is it? It's back to dead. Uh. <laughs> oh, good. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's man. fine, you got your boy. We've got the monkey master for his hoop swoggle. <laughs> Is is sorry? Hoops. <laughs> yeah, fair. What do you call it? Instruct. Mm. Is it called instruct? I think that's what I remember. Yeah, boy. I, I said abyssal hand for half the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Banana master. Uh, where does this go? Huh? I actually probably should kill this Coco, right? You have a hundred and ten. Oh, there's a lot of damage counters you've got on this, this here board. <laughs> that there board. I feel like B-String is not going to be the best card to play in this matchup. Yeah, I, I, I'm i going to do my best to not let you get one off, ever. Hmm. Why do I have to Tempest... A meteor tempest or you've or breaks. That is a absolute. <laughs> that is depressing. What's meteor tempest? The big dusk main. Dusk pal. Oh, the big the, 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 the attack. Team. Here comes dusk daddy. More <laughs> <laughs> uh, more things for shrine to hit. <laughs> mm. Stadium. Oh, shrine can't last. Oh. Fine. No. See, shrine isn't lasting. I hope he hits the stadium, then it makes the sycamore in my hand and the Shrine of Punishment not as awful. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> we don't need stackers, he's not a spread deck. Uh, little does he know I am. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, Coco. Poor Coco, what did he ever do to you? Except all that damage. <laughs> you asking why I got out my Dusk Daddy? Because Dusk Daddy can one shot the Uveltos and nothing else can. So I might have to let you get a B string here or not. So round two, the sneak attack losers round of the Cena Invitational. Um, Scott v Seb happened on Facebook Live on Hey Fonte, and we're still waiting to play Alex v Robert. See, while that's great, are you aware that right now a Veltal versus Stack Attacker is happening? Mm, legendary match. Like if this is in the finals of World. Oh god, I'd be so happy. When? <laughs> 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 yeah, when, when. Wait, you play more you hoopers now? Yeah, he's, he's always played two. Oh, you've always played two? Yeah, I thought you saw my list, Joe. Crazy. No. 
I meant to be up <laughs> no. I'm, I'm uploading you all today, but mine's pretty different. Oh, uh, okay. Well, mine's pretty good, so play that one. Mm. <laughs> it's not. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's a crap deck. Okay, now this is an interesting play. Oblivion Wing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my one prize is beast string, so feels good, man. <laughs> and all the spreads back. Spread and dead. Spread them. Yeah. Let's get our big old dusk daddy rolling. No. Not allowed. How many goodsmen have we played? We've already played two. So we played... You. Played You've played two. Staka Taka Assemble! I've played none. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. If Jake gets the card, I think he's going to get this turn. You're not going to be very happy, Joe. What, counter energy? Yeah. Nah, I don't think, I don't think that's how I'm going before this game. I don't think I'm, I'm aiming to take KOs, really. <laughs> that's that's boring. <laughs> who the hell would do that? I mean, who the poop would do that? Oh, no. Oh, he's putting the... Wait, do you have a way to pick up your dudes? Oh, you're just hoping I run hmm? out of Guzmas. Uh-oh. Okay. Dunna, dunna, dunna. Spaghetti. I'm just spreading the energy so that you, um... Spreading and... You know, don't... Don't get everything. Yeah. Joe, there's one problem with Meteor Tempest. It doesn't kill Hooper. Mm. Mm. Don't tell him that. Bit unfortunate, but I think I have to take a knockout. Sad oh, days. <laughs> Sad days. You could have just left it. You could have just passed the turn. No, I think I think taking the knockout was correct. The thing oh, I don't you, yeah. think was correct is putting it. Was breaking it. I have no idea why I did that at all. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure I'll still just win. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Oh man, see these. Yikes. I need to play two more Delmise in my list. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the hell do i do now yeah that's that's the reason that sentence was the reason i played this deck oh. every round someone would be like what, what do i actually do now let's get on the bicycle to start things off <laughs> get on the bicycle Difficult to say please that. say that please say that every single time you play one at worlds if you play it <laughs> Like Charlie's farewell. <laughs> farewell. Oh, that's that's a bee string. Ring sting. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so grim. This is really grim, huh? <laughs> oh my god, this is so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> If the stadium wasn't in play, it'd be okay, but because the stadium, everything goes... Uh, yeah. Holy... <laughs> well, we've got one deck out of our system, but now I need to take a little <laughs> break tonight <laughs> to get that out of my system for the seventh time. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't have Guzmara, I literally just win straight away. <laughs> Uh, Get that yeah. one energy out. No. <laughs> Die, insect. <laughs> Holucha, thanks for the follow, dude. Oh, man. I still in a pickle. Because oh, the spirit man is, up. is dead. 32, 32, 50. Oh, that's what I don't like about PTCGO, the amount of clicking you have to do with that and Lele. Yeah. 
I guess I save you clicking. Alright. Well played. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> well, I, I was going to do some really cool stuff. I know. <laughs> mean. Mean EGO. Okay. It's time for getting decks out of your system part two, where I play a stage okay, my, for an hour. My next game, part I'm two. against someone named Kay Sukovic. Oh. <laughs> mm. so, so I go from one commentator to another. We're at the top of the ladder, Jake. That, that's, oh, yeah. That's, that's what that tells you. you After this in... game, I'll head off. Yeah. That's us. People who have no lives. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even completed a ladder this month. That's really bad. I really. Is it making a ladder as well? I was too. Casual. I can't remember the last time I completed a ladder. Yeah, but for well, I did you'd, one. You'd kind of want to. Yeah, you sort of do. I think Robert's messed out the ladder now. Ray games are quick games. Yeah. I maxed mm, it out. Sweet. Which I maxed it out Buzz Rock two things ago. But it was a really crap supporter, if I remember right. Are you guessed the post rotation deck? Me? No, Joe. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, it's, not... it's this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys are aware that deck is OP, right? It is, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> Since ah. Mischievous came out, I've tried to build it every way around and just can't. It doesn't even beat Zorok half the time. It did well in Expanded. Yeah, it's we're... Expanded thing you talk about. I think there's going to be a League Cup in Expanded. I think it does destroy oh. that Baby Buzz all special energy deck, though. The Buzz Shrine Garb. They just can't do it. You just, oh, yeah. you just have two Miss Mages of Energy on both, and they just can't do anything. The Mage. That deck's interesting, but I think it's also bad. I was literally thinking today, where's the, where'd this deck go? It was like two weeks ago, everyone was like, oh, this is the hotness, and then like everyone forgot. Oh, yeah. People were like, thinking it was good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know how. What are they doing? <laughs> All right, to win, this game, to win this game, we need the second Orangaroo down. That's that's the thing that we're kind of missing here. That's spicy, Joe. Yeah, what's going on with that second Orangaroo? Can't prize it, you lose. Oh well, that was the same with the list I played on Friday, but I, you know, only played one still. <laughs> 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 um, and just thought if I price it I lose so oh well Yo, going? yeah Joe the, the tip is take a deck that you expect to win zero games with yeah. then build the greediest list possible for it yeah follow us how Adam did stuff yeah add in one super scoop up <laughs> I always play one super scoop up. It's a free AZ if you add. Insta ninth. Nailed it. Okay. Is Puka bad now? <laughs> Who's Puka? Well, I'm against Kay Sukovic. I don't think it's actually Puka. But he had a float on his active. <laughs> and I think KO'd it might my... be. Really? He yeah, could have KO'd sure, my dude, but... and he, he didn't. Literally. Literally. He's been out of it for a bit. You've got to yeah. give him some slack. No. <laughs> he's playing the long No. Game. Yeah, dude, he's he's commentating worlds. I can't give him any slack. That's true. That's true. You don't want a primal Groudon situation. Every Pokemon is primal Groudon. I should just lice under it. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, man. That was brilliant. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Him going, uh, okay. I don't think he wanted to... Veltol's the thing he should do this turn. It doesn't do anything in this matchup. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Not like this. 
Do we get our one turn of DC value? <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Lele, Lele smack. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Or unless Curlier does thirty times. No. Oh. Curlier is curly boy. Kicking cu. That's all the input you're getting from me. That's fair. The only downside of this is if he has psychic Guzma, our oh, curly is dead. Well, at, at least his Miss Mage's second attack isn't doing much damage. <laughs> Such a dick, Adam. <laughs> Take that, Language. Joe. And you're, you're, uh, I mean, Willy. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a silly willy, Adam. What are my thoughts on Baby Buzz going uh, I think you could just be playing Baby Buzz with Octillery and be way less of a meme. That's what Toby did. Yeah. <laughs> with Shrine. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Baby Buzz Shrine. The... Baby I Buzz really Shrine like is that, very good conceptually. But you need, yeah, to, yeah, you need to keep drawing into choice bands, you need to keep drawing into special energy cards, and you can't do that yeah. with a garb in the way. So. Mm. Oh, you play basic energy as well. Wait, oh. what? In the baby? Yeah, but in which one? To, to do the combo, you need you need to have the special energies. Oh, yeah, you, you need the strongs and the yeah. beast. Do you know what my next my next game was, or, or is, after the one against Joe? Go on. I'm against, I'm against Stack Attack and Naganadel. <laughs> Ah, yes. Do I not get a break? No. It's allowed. I guess that's my fault for playing a Veltal. Joe, I just realised, are you not playing Beast Energy in your Stack Attacker deck? No. It's... That's... I mean... I can't recycle it. But it's that one-time choice band. Yeah, but I... It only pushes me to 150. <laughs> Do you yeah, play choice band? To know. I don't play choice band. No. I just play full float. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, because band. you're attacking with what's his name? Big Daddy Dusk Dusky though. Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy Dusk. It does the last attack attack of GX attack to hit some nice numbers, though. It does, yeah, it's good with the GX attack, but. I don't know. I'd rather it just be a basic a lot of the time. Fair. Yeah. Unfair. If I played baby dusk mains like the promo, hmm. that would be pretty spice. Yeah, then it's quite good. Oh, oh then you'd hit ninety. Yeah. A card is so good, but it just—it's so hard to fit in stuff and feel like it's worth it. Mm. From what I've seen, mm. Luke's trying to convince me to play. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in what deck? It's just any. <laughs> 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 Well, anything out of straight in. Straight in. <laughs> Get in my basket. Miss, Miss Maggie is a Shaw. God of art, why not? I like Baby Dusk, man. But I, I prefer to win games. Yeah, that is the trade off. Nah, I actually, I had it in um, Zoro Garb for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like. If I could fit it, like, if you could put, like, at the moment, the Zoro Garb I've got is playing Psychic Energy, so you can't really mm -hmm. put it in. But if I put, like, the Blend ones, then I feel like I'd have to try it, because it's just so good. Oh, as I as we were talking about that, my opponent dropped a Dusk Main, a baby Dusk Main against me, and then attached Beast Energy to Stack Attack up. <laughs> <laughs> the exact <laughs> things we were just talking about. Is Beast Puka watching your stream? <laughs> yeah, stream sniping. It must be. To, to stream snipe me somewhat. We go way back, me and Puka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and you commentated mine and Ryan's game at 2016. Yeah, I remember was... that. My first ever commentary game. Really? Ooh. Me and Puka I didn't know that. High and you two fellas in the background. Nice. So you, yeah. did a, you, did, you did a solid job. Yeah, you did a good job. No, I meant Ryan. Oh, no, I, I messed up. I, I totally messed up. Whoa, then you're saying I didn't win in, because of my own skill. No, no, you did as well, but I nah, still ended up I didn't. <laughs> you, just can't, you just can't win, can you? <laughs> oh, I'm only messing. 
<laughs> oh man, no, nah, it was fun. Was that? It, it, it was Totina, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but it, we were both, it was like really, really close. Yeah, no, that that was a sick game. It's Totina versus um Night March. Night March, yeah. That, Just, yeah. that, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. You could you could like sort of play if if you drew well enough, you could like play into the uh, into like the lock yeah uh, lock turn, which I think I did. I just messed yeah, it up. Yeah. I um, I didn't mention Joltik at the right time, so I ended up like getting end to nothing, and then having the unfortunate time of just passing. Yeah, that was literally um, one turn. I think that decided sort of yeah. the match overall. Yeah. Oh, that was before puzzles came out as well, wasn't it? So Night March no. was playing. Was it not? No, puzzles were out. No. Puzzles were there. Yeah, I played four single puzzles in one of those games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was brilliant. <laughs> what, what what did Night March game from Steam Siege at Worlds then? Didn't. Oh. Captivating Poker Puff? Yeah, Captivating Poker Puff. Oh, you know what it did gain? It gained that silver. That, that um, Galvantula did like 30 to 2 Pokemon. But yeah, that's high, and like the attack didn't, didn't apply weakness on Ben. Oh, no, so mirror. So you killed two Joltics. Some some Japanese Joltic or Some Japanese players played that with Shrine. Yeah, I mocked Adam when he said it, and I still stand by that mocking. Mm -hmm. I played against someone at Worlds playing it, and I was playing like third uh, water box even, and it wasn't. Yeah, it, it was not good. Ah, uh, yeah, so I just said. Um... Special charge for the Steam Siege, yeah. which I guess Night March. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it did. Good oh, good. Um, yeah. Ch Charlie played uh, like his Aveltal build, which had a few unknowns that world. And um, he went against someone who <laughs> basically <laughs> they they um they hexed and uh, and spread thirty to two unknowns, and so he couldn't farewell them. Oh no! So that was just it. That was game. Oh, one. that's actually quite upsetting. I don't know, right? That's just guaranteed two prizes next turn. Yeah, that's genius. Three two prizes. Absolutely genius. Uh, yeah. Can we do it today instead of all this old format? I think you need weakness policy in Zora decks, kind of. Oh, only in Zora control. Every other Zora doesn't need weakness policy as much. I don't think you do in Zora Garb. Not in Zoro Garb, nah. From what I've seen, the only thing, like, the biggest problem with Zoro Garb against, like, those, those decks is if they play Lycanroc, because Lycanroc is a pain to deal with, because you haven't got the weakness. Yeah. They have to, like, do some really strange plays. Like, it honestly plays out similar to our, like, like match we had me and Joe just had. Yeah. Like, mm. where, we saw, where I sort of, like, have to use, basically, whatever non non Zoroark attackers I have, and then you just end up with big Lele's that are big targets. Hmm. Uh. Big Daddy Lelol. Yeah, big Danny Lilies. Miss Waterbox, man. Waterbox was a fun deck. I wish I'd have tested it more. No, it wasn't. I played one game against Alex with it, and he got turn two, like five energy on board with like four Aquapatch and Elixir. Yeah, that's why. Wait. Oh wait, no. Aquapatch was later. That was later on. Yeah, Aquapatch was later. Oh, that was it. He got four Elixirs and double energy switch in one turn against me. That that deck would be insanely broken if it had Aquapatch back then. How needed is weak policy in Zoro Lock? I would play one in Zoro Control, guaranteed. Maybe, maybe one in Zoro Rock or Zoro Pod, but they're all playing Blower now, so it's a bit. Yeah. Is yeah. Zoro Pod viable at the moment? Like as a like as the picks of Zoro Art decks, do you guys think it's actually like one of the top? On. I think it's one of the lower. Yeah, yeah. me too. Well, we we didn't rate it too high, did we? I think it's I think it's rubbish. I don't think it's, it's still okay. It's fast rock. No, I think if you play it, you may as well have not gone to Worlds. Just give me your ticket. Nah, I'm messing. Aww. It's it's okay. It's just great against everything that isn't Zoro control, basically, or solid against everything that isn't Zoro. Yeah, it's sort of solid, but I'd never feel like I'd be in control. <laughs> Yeah, Zoro control. You always yeah. want to be in Zoro control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The stupid stack attacker thing managed to remove all of my stadiums. It's probably one. Unlike you, Joe. <laughs> pew pew. Foiled again. But uh, if he... oh. Sorry, go. No, I'd say Puka's obviously a better player than Joe. Well, if he doesn't, I win next turn. So there's that. It must be Puka. There's no way it's anyone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sure. 
<laughs> just, <laughs> just definitely is. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't win next turn because my counter energies have Wait, gone. I, Ooh, I almost didn't play supporter. Oh. But it has to be an end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one big re. <laughs> Do you have one Oranguru left? Yeah, but I know that it's not a supporter. <laughs> oh! Premonition. Re! Oh! Re! It's fine, you can draw six dead cards, right? Tag, just do it. I mean, his deck is all dead cards, so the chances are it's all right. dead cards. You can play Guzma. I end into it. Oh, Puka won. Damn it. Take that, Joe. 100% Puka. Can confirm. I went down from five prizes to two prizes, though, which had, I'm not going to lie, was basically the only thing I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to do again. Beast X ever. <laughs> is go, oh, five prizes? Yes, yeah, straight to two. Take that, Beast Ring. <laughs> Who cares about playing properly? Please don't e hammer me. It's so boring if you e hammer me right now. <laughs> don't do it. Don't you do it. Best way to beat opponents: call their plays boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't bore me. Right, my boys. I'm gonna be off. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Ninety nine. Nice playing you, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'll watch this game, then I probably should have off as well. Cool. And I'll be the same. All the prep I've got to do for traveling on Wednesday. This is the perfect prep. Guard. Yeah, this is the prep. Guard EV, Miss Magius Guard. <laughs> <laughs> You can't see a better matchup. You ready for your world round one already, are you, Joe? I actually only play five fair energy, so this is actually really close. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> ah. <laughs> oh man, not like this. Oh no. That's why I really I guess you've always got e hammer. You've always got Twilight. I've used it. Oh dear. Already gone. I used it to not die to Garb. <laughs> this deck's got all the answers. <laughs> oh, I want to see someone. I want to see if someone actually plays. No one. I know that I'm like feeling they will, but I just want to yeah, see it. There'll be people. I feel like there'll be like three guys, and they'll all yeah, be they'll all be like three that. O. Yeah, and then and then that'll be it. No one'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Be that, that one day two guy who sees this, sees them all at 3-0, and he's like, well, yeah. I guess I have to. Guess I have to do it now. Yeah. Gotta take the risk. And then they lose. Badly. Oh, he's tired of the engine. He's gotta hit one of our two keys. Good. You can attach him now, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia... Nectar. <laughs> All of your DCs. Just a couple. Wait, why'd I attach this to one? Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, he can't it's get it next turn. You know, he can't get it next turn, it's fine. Yeah, we're grinching down... Yeah, this is great. This is genius. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. You're gonna set all this up and then just max potion it. This is where he goes for a cheeky one, and I can't KO this, it's fine. A cheeky, I don't know what. Uh, choice Band Shrine. Hand. Choice Band Shrine, Kukui is still 20 short. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Never know. Do I think Guardi is a good call for worlds? Nope. Buzzrock is gonna be big. <clears throat> As good as Guard is against Zoro, Barzrock is always the most represented deck at any tournament. Hey, we did it. We did it. They, couldn't, they just gave up. Didn't want to see the rest of it. We did it, Reddit. 
Yeah. Uh, on that note, right. I'm going to say goodnight to you guys as well. Yeah. yeah. Good night. Cheers for the games, yeah. See, see you on Wednesday, Joe. Yeah, bro. See you in a couple of days, yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay, let's hop out of Discord. It's just you and me now, team, for the next half hour. <clears throat> yeah, I think Guardi is like the most fun, optimistic play you can play. But there are surely going to be a lot of buzz rocks. Like, just from an objective standpoint, the matchup spread for, spread for buzz rock is very strong, I think. Um, because since the NEIC where Malamar was around, that's, like, diminishing. Yeah, there's stack attack in the Ganadel, but it feels like people just don't care about that. So, basically, Buzzwell just has more good matchups. So, it just feels like a fairly no-brainer deck just to play Buzz. So, people will play it probably as much as at least Zoro Garb, possibly Zoro Control as well. Because there's also the issues of the Zoroark players worried that they can't win enough games in 50 minutes without tying, especially Zoro Lock. So I feel like Buzzworld could be as popular as just Zoroark. And if that's the case, Guardi is hideous, let me tell you. Absolutely hideous. That's just me, though. If Buzz Rock's a no-brainer, you got to suffer through the mirror. Yep, that's day one for you. Whoops. And I don't know the best way to hard win a mirror, really. I don't. Is there one? I don't know. Someone teach me if there is. Just use more baby buzzes. That's kind of step one, right? Get a little bit frisky here. Try and protect Rolts. Weak against Parallel. Or we could attach to the Lele and swing into the Sorowak turn two. Guaranteed. Yeah, let's try that. Mad Captain, Mark had some nuggets of wisdom. Hey, a good flying bird. Uh, hopefully see you there, man. Should be fun. Should be fun. I don't know how central I actually am. I'm in an Airbnb, so I'm not like in the World's Hotel or anything like that. But I'm not sure how far out I actually am. I think I'm a taxi from the venue, so it's likely that, like, we'll be getting in early in the day and just be staying for the whole day, like me and the few guys who I'm staying with, so it should be fun. Tech Oricorio for the mirror. I mean, people have done that before. Things like Baby Muse and Oricorios and stuff. But I feel like Buzz is just so inconsistent already. And because there's Zoro Garb, your Octillaries go offline, and it just really makes you want to um, just have as many supporter cards as possible. So my, if I was playing Buzz, my tech cards are just more supporters. As sad as that is. Uh, so this parallel is a real shame. Um, I think the monkey's got to go here. And we'll just ultra ball for a Lele. Unless we top deck exactly these, uh, Rare Candy or Skylar. If we top deck Rare Candy or Skylar or Gallade, we're in biz. If not, it's a Lele Smackaroo. Constructive criticism, Mark Face. How bad did I play?
Was it contri- was it more he was angry at me getting lucky or was it just outright bad play? Oh, the guardy. It's not a Gallade. We got close. Okay. He had a lot to say about a lot of things. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Just saying I should use Buzz GX more. Against the Bennett deck? You guys are a crazy bunch. So, how about that rare candy on the top, huh? Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? Oh. Okay. It's worth a rewatch to compare notes. Oh man. Here's the thing, I've played so many non Boswell decks lately that I forgot how to Boswell. Oh no. This is the opposite of what I need to happen. I need to just know Buzz. Simple. Hey, a cat's appeared. Hello, cat. <clears throat> Guzma. What are you doing, kitty? Isn't Zoro Gardi just better than this? Possibly. Draws more cards. Never a bad thing. Um, but at the same time... Uh, I was going to say... Your boss rock is even worse than this one's because of all the Zoroarks that you play. That's really bad. Speaking of really bad, we're in a spot. Uh, we need the fifth card to be a DC to have a sick turn here. Otherwise, our turn is pretty weak. Our turn oh, the fifth card was a rare candy, but we can't access it, so this doesn't matter. If it was a DC, we could uh, do the. Guzma then draw into the DC. So now we're going to have to play the end. We can't Guzma and just be happy with a rare candy pass. Hmm. Okay. 
I think evolving into Cuddier is a mistake. I think I'd rather do this. Attacking this is really weak, right? It does ultimately nothing for us. I think I'd rather just have the chance to retreat Max Potion and have a chance to get Guzma. Whoa, look at all this popcorn. Where Lord too big? Hatmaster123. I'm a happy fox. How's it going, guys? Electrode Zerny's mirror. His choice band is in the discard pile, so he needs to get DC puzzles. Oh, Lele's alive. Incredible. Yeah, sure, night beat Ryan. We could easily have lost against Ryan if he didn't misclick in game three and then make us reset game three. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Oh my god, really? That can't be your best move, dude. It just There's just no way that that's your best move. Come on, you're better than that. You've got to be better than that in this day and age. Yo, I'm a happy fox. How's it going, dude? He's also floatstoned his glissopod, which means our Lele won't be getting knocked out. Minior is going to win Worlds. Hmm, that's an interesting take on it. don't think I can go along with it. I really hope there's some better cards in this second premonition. Ah, uh -huh. a better card arrived. Good work. We can take our first two prizes of the game. Excellent news. He can respond on the Gallade with a GX attack, but then the other Gallade will start running free. Other than Mui-X. Mui-X is the big pain here. So next turn we need to... Blower, stretcher, get some more rolls down, because that Mew could be the end of us. Great candy, what does that card do? Oops, one one one, cheers for the follow, dude. Guzma. Not the monkey. So we're drawing into DC. We have floatstone in hand, so I feel like it's fine to... Well... I'm sure we all just realized what he's just done, right? <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye then. You clown. <laughs> oh, you silly goose. Okay, let's have a couple of games of buzzer up before I go to bed.
Oh, by the way, a cat has made made herself at home on my lap. What are you doing? Well, let's hit it very hard, I guess. Beast Energy turn one, strong turn two. Looking pretty good. Let's see what this deck's answer to the Buzzwall stuff is. If it's playing Naga or not. Coffee Cat for five, broken. What do I think of Shrine Baby Buzzgarb? I've already made uh, made the case that I think it's better to play. Um, what's it called? Octillery with Baby Buzz if you're going to play Shrine. Because you need to keep fishing for pieces. You need to keep getting into choice bands and strong energies and other stuff like that. Because you're making the space for the shrines. You need to uh, still be drawing cards. So I would say the Garb list is a nay-nay, but Buzzwall and Shrine sounds good together. Because Baby Buzzwall's the best non-GX attacker in the format. And it's almost, almost good enough to be on its own, some say. So if we just pop that Shrine on top, it's going to be pretty groovy. Sounds like a good deck. <laughs> Where can I get me one of those decks? What's up with the frame rate? Is it bad? Oh man, it is really bad. I've only just looked at it myself that the camera is really dodgy and slow. I don't know. I think it's the computer itself just dying at this point. So I think that's all I got for you. Uh, is this actually a good sycamore? I think it is a good sycamore. An elixir would be pretty dope here. Uh, I don't think he's going to play any Pokemon that can come out. Joe's going to get a new computer one of these days. One of these days I'll have one. Post-Worlds, I legit need to get one. I, s I did a stupid thing though. I I spent a lot of money on something I don't need in my collection, like quite recently. So I'm kind of skinned at the moment. <laughs> so it's a it's a waiting game now. Luckily, my birthday is in September, so I should get a small boost come the end of August, start of September. So I should invest after my birthday. What did I buy? I purchased uh, the 2000 and, oh, I think it's 2002 Trainer Magazine complete set. Set me back a bit. I don't want to get the date wrong now. Let me find the date. It might be 03. It's new back Japanese promos. So what does that tell you? Tells you that I need to be certain of what I have. Let's have a look. Hmm. 
2002, yeah. So the Japanese promo trainer mag cards. Every, they're, they were in little three card sets. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the three card sets, which is not all of them. I'm still missing the Imakunis X Bloud line, but everything else I have in PSA 10. You're a clown. Yep. Yeah, I'm a collector. And sometimes deals pop up in your face and you're just like, hey, I want that stuff. Big Loader, 2005. Cheers to the follow, dude. And I'm Bravey. Thanks so much for the follow as well. It's one of those things where I troll eBay so much just for small collection pieces here and there that sometimes you just see things and you're like, whoa, this is at a price that I literally can't say no to. So you just have to say yes sometimes and then you realize that you're poor for a month. And you actually need to buy a computer at some point. But we'll cross that bridge next month. Oh, cheers for the sub, Flying Birds. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Uh, are we going to need... I mean, this gets shot off anyway. Let's grab another one of these. Kind of weird because I already had one in hand. But it's still thinning. Oh, Tech Q, nice. You were saving up for the pieces of Exodia. That's pretty chill. That's a nice, that's a really like cool goal to go for. My goal is huge. <laughs> I want to complete every uh, English Wizards of the Coast set, right? So it's been a goal that I've had for eight years. And I'm at the point now where it's impossible to buy boxes, impossible basically to buy packs. So I'm buying singles. I, I'm either buying singles completed sets or already graded cards so the goal has got a lot harder <laughs> as of the last few years but luckily yeah. i did a lot of the collection stuff like six years ago before the price boom so maza 666 cheers so much for the follow so yeah i'm about i think i'm 70 percent of the way to uh completion i also have about 500 cards I need to grade. I need to get into a... I need to get into a groove where I'm... Grading enough that I can resell an amount to then give me enough money to grade more stuff and just get into that rhythm. But it's taking that plunge of... Uh, going out and buying the initial... The initial grading stuff first. I don't know. Money's always a problem, right? You always want to buy some stuff. The thing about grading stuff as well is that I can grade things literally at any time and they'll be the same cost to me. Whereas if I'm buying cards and like day to day, they can only go up in price like at the moment. So I feel like it's better to be investing in the cards that I don't have rather than grading cards that I know will get a certain grade. So, although it's really fun to send like 100 cards off to PSA and a huge chunk of my collection will be completed all at once, the slower, grindier process um, is actually just the one that makes the most sense right now. Uh, 
I don't know. I need to do a... You know how I did that big um, cube video? I feel like doing that on, like, how to collect, <laughs> which is, is, is it's a topic that you don't actually see much, like, actually how to collect. People always talk about their collections, but the efficiency of collecting is actually not content that you see very often, and I think that would be cool to explore, because I think about it a lot, because it's important to be efficient in everything. I think it's my runescape roots where being efficient in everything is super important all the time <laughs> uh i really want this diancy to stay if he doesn't garb lock uh, i really don't want to get guzmad ah okay that hurt that hurt a lot We would lose if we got rid of our Rockruff and got Guzmud. Now he can win. Hey, we did it. Why is Lantern not on my cube? Um, uh, I don't think they're uh, on a high enough power level. To be perfectly honest. This looks like a pretty good turn. We can deal with the Trubbish and attach to the Lycan Rock all in one turn. That sounds like a good deal. Getting super old is pretty juicy as well. Seeing as though our hand is dead again, I'm going to need to. Try and freshen that state of affairs up a little bit. I can't remember if I had the other Remoraiden deck. It's just too late in the day to figure out these things. Hey, I made the right decision. Incredible. Oh, they print more Florgus cards? Yeah, I mean, the whole fairy archetype is yearning for more cards for cube. Um, Florgus is one that's on its way. Maybe do a collab of Silver Snorlax. I do love Silver Snorlax. SM Pratt is another guy. He He's like the the guy closest to discussing how to collect. But he's more sort of, I don't know, he's kind of more like ranty, I guess. Not in a bad way. I love watching him. But he doesn't actually help you personally on how to improve your own personal collection. I mean, everyone will just say like, oh, buy singles. It's better than buying packs and whatever, which is like obviously true. But it's not like incredible information. There's much more information that you can give away. I feel like some collectors actively choose not to, though, because then they increase their own competitors. So there is that. Maybe I should complete my own goals before I tell people how to collect. <laughs> I'll just make my own prices soar against myself. Luke, last turn I should have attached a Rockruff instead of other bars. So much happened in that turn, though. He paralleled our five-card bench, and we already had a Rockruff with one energy on. They got Guzma KO'd, right? I don't think this turn was bad at all. I think this is a solid turn. The attachment on the baby bars isn't too bad because we're threatening Sledgehammer in both regards. So many things look better in hindsight. I don't know if it was objectively right at the time. This looks horrible right now, though. 
This is a really rough turn. Turn before. Well, your typing is very slow. Well, you're talking turn two. I guess there isn't much reason to have two energy on these buzz balls, like one on each. I just don't know if there was uh He's giving me Sledgehammer turn. Or is he? I don't know if he is. Maybe he's changing his mind. It only makes sense to give a Sledgehammer turn now that he's done this, though. Wow. Oh, get punished immediately. I need to look back at all my buzz wall games <laughs> because genuinely turn attachments are the most important thing in buzz wall, so. That could be something good for the plane, actually. I could uh, look back at some stuff. Trashums. So many threats on this board, holy. Slashums. Yeah, Luke, you're probably right. That sounds way better. What did he attack with? Was it a Zoroark? If it was with a Zoroark, then it's death. Yeah, it had to be right. He goes with one up. But uh, it meant that... Uh, it's weird, right? Because we, we heavily punished the fact that he put a Zoroark in the active for us. Anyway? I guess we didn't. Uh, let me do this. We have eight, nine, ten, thirteen. We have our other super rod. Is it correct to just uh, go slower here? I think protecting the Lycan Rock is correct just because uh, we can get him to force Sledgehammer again. Let's go swing around. Yeah, an energy on one of each of the Rock Cross sounded pretty good there. Uh, yeah, I've got to look back. I mean, 
technically, because we attached to the Boswell, we actually saved an energy, right? We have an extra energy that we wouldn't have, but it's an energy on a place that doesn't matter too much anyway, compared to an energy that would have mattered a lot. Oh yeah, we dealt with the Trubbish. I think it is correct to deal with the Trubbish there though. Like I think we only lose if that thing starts getting out of hand. And also we're getting into four instead of three. I don't know. I think it's close, yo. Yeah. The only way Buzzwell loses is if it goes too aggressive and gets caught in a hole. Where you get end into nothing with Trash Launch pumping you each turn. I really don't mind the fact that we did the Sledgehammer turn. I thought that was a strong turn. Had we had had, uh, had we had had the GX attack option open, it may have got us into that sticky spot where we can just lose. But at the same time, it was a lag and rock taking two prizes with full health and two basic energies on, so it's still an ideal situation. He then would have had a Garbodor and could have gone for a coin flip heads, which would have been really bad for us. Or even just trash a launch N would have been ugly as well. I don't know. There's a few ugly things that could have propped up if we hadn't dealt with that trubbish. Wait, you can't. You lose. You can't do that. What are you doing? What are you... No. No! You had it all and you blew it. You blew it, kid. No. I have... Hey, look, that energy card that we needed. I'm only joking. <laughs> Just trying to trigger Luke. <laughs> ah, Unagi. Yes. Broken. Broke and ignore the fact that we top deck Sycamore as well. We'll have one more game. Is Captain Jack running the show while I'm away? I think this Wednesday we're both away. And I think on the Monday, Jack's... Uh, so next Monday, Jack will be streaming. And then I'll be back by the Wednesday. I'll either be jet lagged to hell and won't want to stream. So maybe just do like an hour or something like that. Um, but we'll play the Wednesday by year. So essentially nothing this Wednesday... But then back, back to Jack on Monday and hopefully both of us on the Wednesday. I think. Keep an eye on the Discord. That's the best, best advice I can give you. When we're live, we're live. <laughs> That's such a terrible answer. <laughs> New Dom fan, pretty cool card. Two attachments is a bit of a downside, but does good damage. Last chance potion, the combo. Garbotoxin's gone, boys. It's busted. I'm just worried about the hammers beating it.
let Luke do an iPhone stream all through day one. Luke would have to fly to Nashville. <laughs> Lewis Marks, cheers for the follow, dude. One bit. Cheers, Dylan P. Thank you very much. Uh, playing item cards is bad. Putting down Pokemon is bad. But drawing into an energy that buffs our damage is good. These are the things that we've established so far. Attaching no energy, very bad. But we play so many that the Cynthia is still likely safe. Lycanroc is actually quite good, right? We can get rid of these if we get Lycanroc. Okay, you've decided to do this. And then play the Cynthia and hope to hit a better energy card. Agree? Agree. Oh, Nectar. Ain't it great when a plan comes together? Cheers for the follow, dude. Get out of here, Tapu Joko. You big Joko. The cat's back for more fun times. Hello, kitten. Play with me. Play with me. Have fun. Don't leave me, ever. Oh, they play e-hammers? No fair, man. Watch them stomp off a strong energy as well. That's the second day of Liza I've seen them play. I'm seeing double. Excuse me. Du -du 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 -du. Coco's back, everyone. Shrine's in play. Floatstone. Get out of there, Shrine of Noob. Ah, see, it's so good to thin. Ah! Putting down bench Pokemon. Re. So good to thin, though. Ah! Don't you have a nibble. You crazy thing. Oh. 50. That's not 70. Don't scratch me. Let me play with you. Oop. She's growing bored of me. And she's off. I'm all alone in this world. Guys? Update. He plays Honchcrow. Thought I'd throw that one out there. Guys? 
<laughs> Where have we gone, guys? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ugh. Too many. We need to be able to deal with a Garbodor if it comes out, I guess. Otherwise, we are dead as a dodo. If he's going to do some spreadums, we can also deal with that. With our current hand. Ah, oh, Luke, you're doing Brazil? Cool. Jelly. Sad face. Hmm. Makes me a little jelly monster. Luke, I can't just come. Holidays. I don't have them. Where? Jammy win for Chelsea at the weekend? I agree. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. It was indeed. Roller coaster of emotions, that game. I am in charge of the holiday rotor, but... I also know that I'm already out of holiday. And you know when I said earlier how I need money for things? I do like things. That's the real problem. I just love having things in my possession. Ugh. Oh. Why? I won't tell if you don't. Get out of here, Garb. You're scary. Can't be dealing with that. Take Palace away on a Monday night. What is the uh, what was the Liverpool score? Let's have a look. Liverpool won two nil. Oh what? Milner and Mane? That's not Mo Salah. Damn it, fantasy football. It's okay, guys. I have, uh, I had Aguero as captain this weekend. I did pretty good. Die, insect. Man, two floats down in Buzzrock is so sad. I really want to play three, especially if there's loads of Zora Control. And Zora Garb, both of them play like three blower now. Oh, oh the last slot in every deck is always the hardest. Yeah, Luke, I was actually... Just it watching the Wolves game was ridiculous. Genuinely like heart wrenching. <laughs> you completely outplayed them, then they score a whack goal, and then your confidence is like shot for like five minutes, they score a second, and then the game's done. So stupid. He hit a post, the bar, cleared off a line. It's crazy. Just like, 
ridiculous. But it's super encouraging for Wolves, though, because they are playing people at times off the park in games. So they're not going anywhere, I don't think. Wolves were against Leicester. I think. The woodwork three times. <laughs> I guess we can just claw slash. so many spread nonsense decks on the ladder it's really like hard to analyze how much spread nonsense will actually be at worlds and how many people are just here for the funsies you know yeah everton uh was a more difficult game for wolves definitely a more difficult game got man city next yeah, it'll be like the most deceptive bottom of the table team, I guess. I don't know. Other teams have definitely looked a lot worse. Like Newcastle against Thingy. Match day one, both teams looked abysmal. I can't remember who it was. Richarlison seems so good for them. It's crazy. Richarlison was terrible last season. Like, actually just terrible in the game of football. <laughs> like, honestly, I've never seen a striker miss as many chances as Richarlison last season. But he started this season with a goal. And maybe it's just confidence is all he needs. Because he had so many chances last season. He got into so many good positions to score a lot of goals. But he just didn't. And now he just does. Like, he's just... its You can't even describe it. Like, Richarlison was a meme last season. <laughs> like, seriously meme-worthy. Of how many times you would hear Max of the Day like, Oh, Richarlison! Somehow he's missed it. Like, that's literally all you would hear on Match of the Day. And now he's, like, just doing the same thing he was, but it was Richarlison and then goal now. Awesome Candy 717, cheers for the follow, dude. Right, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not playing Stacko Tacos. Guardi won its game, but it was against. Uh, what was it against? Oh, yeah, uh, Miss Magia Scarf. I genuinely tried to search my bulk for Ralts and Curliers today. Couldn't find them. Feels bad, man. I'm going to have to ask some friends to bring them for me. Um. Oh, it's just so bad. Buzz Rock's going to be everywhere. I can't play that deck, right? Someone stop me. But at the same time, we've won a few games with Buzz Rock tonight. We have had some dead draws, though. Even with 10 supporters. Maybe I need to go into the Lele. Uh, maybe I need to play Lele. Maybe two super is the greed. Ah, uh, TC Fraud's so good, though. Uh, free. Okay, cards I want in this list. Lele. Four more Sycamores. A Float Stone. And an Octillery. Yo, Mark, I'm just wrapping up. I'm just trying to figure out my last... Last few slots for Buzzrock. Test it more IRL.
There's so many spaces I want. If I'm playing a lot of mirrors, I want the fourth elixir. I want. I love two super odd, but I want. Uh... Mark, I'm at the airport at like five. My flight is at like half seven in the morning. No stacker in fast rock. Yeah, I've already left, Mark, I'm afraid. I'm not on the one that, like, every UK guy's on. I'm, I'm on another one. Nah, I don't play Blower, Alaskan Hero. Um, I would, I think, I would always prefer to play Supporters over Blower in this because you're theoretically improving your your guard matchup just by playing Supporters, and just Supporters are better anyway because Buzz Bricks, so... I think I would always increase my support count before blowers. I mean, this deck is gust.deck, so if people are playing weakness policies, we'll just be gusting anyway, so. Oh, I need a space for a float, a Lele. So I can easily cut Cynthia for Lele. Super odd for floatstone. How does it look then? It looks pretty reasonable then as well. It's just... Lele is so bad. Yeah, Mark, I'm pretty set on Buzz, I think, for day one. I think it's the safest play. Just straight up, I'll be honest. I, th I think it's the safest play. And if I'm a man playing Buzz Rock, who cares if people know that I'm playing Buzz Rock because everyone knows Buzz Rock's turning up, right? I just need to know my last couple slots. Uh, two float stones has been super annoying. Field blow accounts going up in Zoroark again because of Zoro Garb. I feel like it's a card I dig for a lot. Float stone. I feel like I do want to play three. Especially because Zorolock basically just has to try and buy turns against you. Two Super Odd is just so nice, though, for being able to be like, oh, I don't mind Sycamore on the way or Tittery or Lycanroc. I'll just get them back. And I've played so many games now with a two Super Odd build. I feel like I'll make mistakes, more mistakes than I already do. Minus one Cynthia for a Floatstone just feels greedy. I think if I'm ever adding Lele or Octillery, it would be for a Cynthia, but I'm not sure about it. Your last buzz played four float. Oh, yes. Oops, you're sick of the same old, same old. I actually think Worlds is a pretty fresh... I mean, obviously it's a fresh format because it's a new set. I don't think it's same old, same old, same old at all. Ray does change a lot, I think. And although this puzzle hasn't changed much, the theory is changing a bit. Mad Captain, you think free float is needed? Do we go one rod for third float? One tier two deck and a tier two deck enters the meta. Yep. You think Cynthia's the cut? I bricked so much today. <laughs> I bricked so much. <laughs> Only nine supporters with one octillery and no Lele. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Do I play one Buzz GX? Real talk right now. You and me, we're talking. One Buzz GX for third float.
Mark, you played nine supporters in uh, a garb deck. You also played Lele's though. I don't play Lele. My turn one outs a nine, nine supporter. Nine, nine, nine. I mean, 9 and 10 isn't a huge difference, it's about 4%, but... The Lele boosts my percentage points a lot, actually. Just for not bricking. But the games that you... You increase the games that you lose by having a Lele on your board. Anyway. That's enough for now. Uh... Mark's going to tell me what to do. I'll just nod and say yes and do all the things he tells me to because that's probably the best thing I should be doing right now. So that's it, guys. That's my last stream before Worlds. Um, I may have time to record something tomorrow. Yveltal break is going up tonight. Um, but I think that's about it. Yeah. So cheers for watching and see you after Worlds Ooh, or at Worlds. Ooh. Excitement. Let's go.